pink flamingos. Item number, SCP-1507. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-1507 is to be contained in Wilderness Observation Cell 1B with standard security procedures. Staff members should not be allowed to access SCP-1507 without being accompanied by security. Any staff members entering the enclosure must wear protective clothing covering the head and body. Access is only permitted to inspect the cage and for research purposes. If SCP-1507 appears to be vocalizing more frequently than is considered normal, the on-site sound dampening speakers must be activated until the vocalizations cease. Description SCP-1507 is a set of 26 pink plastic lawn flamingos made in Coral Springs, Florida. Instances of SCP-1507 have the same behavior patterns as a normal specimen of Phenicopterus ruber, but do not require feeding. Instances of SCP-1507 are vulnerable to the same forces as ordinary plastic would be vulnerable to, such as heat and pressure. Instances of SCP-1507 are universally hostile towards humans, and have been known to attack personnel who enter the enclosure by dropping down on them, using their metal strands to create scratch wounds and puncture wounds in their victim's face and eyes. SCP-1507 will frequently appear docile until it attacks, leading to several cases of severe injury among research staff. SCP-1507 was discovered on September 18th, 1991, in Jacksonville, Florida. They first came to the Foundation's attention when the Foundation followed up on a 9-11 call, in which the caller claimed to have been attacked by several lawn flamingos. When the house the call originated from was investigated, Foundation operatives found a man dead from puncture wounds, with 15 instances of SCP-1507 living in the house. All members of SCP-1507 were contained at the scene, without incident. Since its containment, no major incidents have occurred, and as such it has been classified as safe. Amended. See Incident 1507-A and Dash B. Addendum. Incidents involving SCP-1507. Incident 1507-A. SCP involved. SCP-1507. Location. Wilderness Observation Cell 1B. Description. On April 12, 2011, Researcher Boyd was playing with SCP-1507-8 during his break. During this time, SCP-1507-8 playfully attempted to take food from him. Taking this as an aggressive action, Boyd knocked SCP-1507-8 to the floor, cracking the plastic shell of the creature. After the incident, all instances of SCP-1507 have become highly aggressive towards staff members. Containment procedures have been slated for revision, and in the meantime, all staff members must exercise caution when going into SCP-1507's enclosure. Incident 1507-B SCP involved SCP-1507 Location Wilderness Observation Cell 1B Description On May 6, 2011, SCP-1507 began to vocalize more frequently. In addition, these vocalizations were unique when compared to any previous catalogued calls. Approximately 45 hours after the new calls were first observed, 11 new instances of SCP-1507, hereafter referred to as SCP-1507-16-26, through arrived at the site and breached the containment of all SCP-1507 instances. They proceeded to attack site personnel, with previously unseen levels of aggressive actions and behavior. During the breach, they were hostile towards staff members, wounding 11 and causing 4 fatalities before being recontained. Realizing that other instances of SCP-1507 have been found to exist outside of Foundation containment, as well as being able to call to more, the Wilderness Observation Cell was upgraded with soundproofing equipment. SCP-1507 was then upgraded to Euclid status. Addendum 2 It is currently hypothesized that SCP-243, or a similar anomaly, may be a possible origin for SCP-1507. It is currently unknown why SCP-1507 has yet to deanimate, or if it will deanimate in accordance to SCP-243's behavior in the future. Investigation is ongoing.